kids and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. You'll have to excuse my voice, I'm still recovering from a viral infection where I've had no voice for a week. So as I said in my previous video, um, these could, yeah, these will be interesting, but work with me, I'm working with it and allowing. So um, today is spiritual book club for May, oh my God, like, and I panicked last week. So I was like, shit, my video is coming up soon. I was like, what the fuck have I read this month? But I have read books. I had to like really sit down and say, wait, you did read that. So it's all good. So the books that I was planning to read over April slash May was was Mrs. Hinch's Hinch Yourself Happy. So I love Mrs. Hinch, as you guys know. Um, she is an Instagram sensation, shall we say, um, and such a great woman to follow for, to fall in love with cleaning. Like, so the best is like, all the best cleaning tips to shine your sink and soothe your soul. So it's all about cleaning and like tidying and feeling good within your home, which I really, really love. Um, so I was really, really excited to get my hands on this book. Um, I've read it all now, and although I do love the cover, I think it's a very like coffee table kind of book, and it's definitely going on my coffee table. Um, I feel that it's, uh, I've obviously followed Mrs. Hinch for like eight, 10 months, no, eight months, I say eight months now, and I freaking love her to pieces, but when she announced she was writing a book and then it came out, I was like, oh my freaking God, like how quick was that book written? Like seeing as it took me eight months to write mine, this was like, came out in five months. So it was like, that must have had to be written in like three months. So I was just quite shocked at first of all, how quickly it obviously came out. But you know, I know people do that. And obviously, you know, Penguin and stuff wanted to jump on the kind of bandwagon while it was hot as such, which is absolutely fine. But, in my honest opinion, you can tell it's rushed. And I just feel that Penguin may have let her down here in the sense of like, you know, let's be real, like she's not a born author, but I'm not a born author. And I don't think many people are like born authors, but that support should be there. And I do love it, but I feel it's written in a very kind of specific way. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it basically. And I do love it. It was easy reading, it was good. But I feel a lot of people and a lot of people like gave it backlash online of how it was written because it was just so casual. And I don't think there's anything wrong with being casual. Obviously we live in a time where things are becoming updated, relatable for a younger age and market as well, absolutely. But um, yeah, I just, I just, I don't know, you kind of get the sense that it was ghost written, um, but I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't pinpoint what I'm trying to say here. I love the book though. So the writing style is unique. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Um, and there are a lot of lists. Another thing which I didn't like was there are a lot of lists. And I think just like putting an example, like one example of how a list should be is like great. Um, so then people can copy that, they can photocopy it, they can, do you know what I mean? Like you could take inspiration from that and do your own cleaning list or weekly list. But what I didn't like was when there was like 20 pages of the same list, because let's be real, who's gonna do their cleaning list in their book? Like that seems crazy to me. And it just felt page filling, if that makes sense. Like it felt more page filling then it felt useful. But I think like maybe have like one or two pages where you have the same list, but 20 pages just felt way too much for me. Um, and it, it happened quite a lot throughout the book with other lists. Um, <clears throat> like there was um, her favorite songs that she likes to clean to, but then there was like nine pages of song recommendations. And I'm like, why do we need nine pages of song recommendations? Like, so do you know what I mean? This is why I feel it was rushed because it feels they've bulked out the wrong things and not written the right things, if that makes sense. So personally, like I would have loved to have like known more about her, her journey, her story. And while there is definitely chapters in there that, you know, show that it's very rushed. <laughs> it's very rushed and it's like over before you've even kind of got into it. So for me, like I definitely feel some more time could have been taken to just really like put those extra touches in where there is that special touch of more information about her and her journey and her story. Um, and you know, I understand obviously she's only been at it for a year, so it is quite a short journey, but maybe more about growing up or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of an odd one and it's a bit all over the place in the structure as well. Um, so I know I'm being like really like analytical here, but it just, 
like I gotta be truthful so I love the content but some of the like lists and stuff were just a bit too much for me personally I would have preferred more content in the sense of you know Sophie talking and stuff and yeah the structure's a bit all over the place like you kind of go from like cleaning to her story to like how she met her husband to like cleaning a thing like it was a bit I would have preferred like maybe her journey and her story first of all and then all leading into the cleaning tips um because it was just like so back and forth you're like you don't know where you are quite a lot of the time so again this is a very specific reading style now penguin could have been an absolute genius with this and I'm just too old I don't know but I just feel from like an author's point of view it's like a bit hard to read in some places because you gotta like keep up if that makes sense so I could see why people were kind of like saying that online um because it did have a lot of like negative backlash which a lot of it's just shit anyway as you can expect but you know it was quite shocking when I would see people like reviewing it and stuff I was like oh my god like I'm really looking forward to reading this so on to the important thing the cleaning tips so the cleaning tips I really loved like it was a really good book like I literally finished this in two days like that's how easy reading it is so it's a very easy read what I also felt and agreed with people as well was all of the tips are on her Instagram already so apart from maybe one or two things that I may have missed earlier on in her journey from watching her Instagram like there was nothing new in this um and again there's nothing wrong with that because let's be honest there's like only so many cleaning tips you could have but I think people were probably expecting I don't know what people were expecting I don't know what I was expecting to be honest um obviously you expect the same kind of tools and tips obviously um but there also wasn't very much of how to clean it was more just lists of products that she loved rather than this is how you use the product or this is how many times a week you should use this product Do you know what i mean just those kind of helpful little tips on how to use the product there were some um but some of the kind of chapters i thought well this is just a list again like i could have literally gone on her instagram and got this so i'm glad i only paid six pound for this I definitely would pay £6 for it. I don't know whether I would have paid full price for it, like the £12. It has done incredibly well. It has sold, like it's literally one of the fastest selling books in the UK for ages. So it has done really well and I'm super chuffed and super proud of her because she absolutely deserves it and I absolutely love her work. But I feel the publisher has maybe let her down a little bit with it. I don't think it's any reflection on her whatsoever because the author only has so much responsibility and you know she's not a born author she probably never thought she'd write a book in her life but I just think like the publisher has a certain duty of responsibility and care and I just feel that it was a bit rushed a bit rushed and I think more kind of care and attention could have been put into the book to make it really really special and give it that extra kind of something which we haven't seen on her profiles already so i would recommend it if you love cleaning you're new to mrs hinch i absolutely would read it but if you're a diehard fan i don't think you'll get much more out of it than you would watching her instagram stories but that being said i did enjoy reading it i absolutely enjoyed reading it um i just didn't feel like i kind of learned anything new or kind of took away too much um but sometimes that's fine sometimes with books you just want a kind of easy read um and it's gonna look great on my coffee table like that's what i do love it's gonna look great on my coffee table um but I just, I just feel she does need more books. Like I think more time would need to be taken to really just like, you know, to just make things more, I don't wanna say polished. I mean, that is a pun in its, in its own self, but um, in a sense of just, you know, making it more enjoyable for the reader and giving them more takeaways and giving them something a bit different to what they can already kind of get online. And that's something I definitely want to do with my own book was, you know, like I've had so many people copy their blog posts and put them into a book and release it as a book I was like but people have already read my blog post why would I want to do that so I made sure that everything in my book was 100 million percent new content like yes it may be the same things I've spoken about but it was written in a completely new way with updated things so like definitely like that was something I was really conscious of that I wanted people to read my book and get even more and even different kind of stuff from it than they could get from here or my podcast or anything else I do online so like again I think Mrs Hinch is a babe I love her I love her work and I think she's an uh, amazing person I just feel the a little bit let down by the book but I don't think that's her fault I think it's just 
bad and like bad kind of editing maybe and just like it the whole process just being rushed um I think that reflects on it greatly and it's just, it's just a shame because like you just think like it's had so much hype and so many people have loved it as well that's the thing so many people have loved it and I do love it um I think it's just one of those things where you can either tell these things or you can't and I think because it was written in such a casual way like literally there's like so many abbreviations in it I couldn't even cope and I don't mind that like I don't mind it at all because I abbreviate stuff but I wouldn't abbreviate stuff in my writing because I just don't think it comes across professional all the time and I don't and you know I know it would annoy people of a certain age and be like oh god just put going to you don't need to put gonna um so I know that I can see why it has kind of annoyed people in the sense it's written um but again I just don't think that's her fault either I think they've obviously gone with a certain look and a certain feel and that's cool like that's that's their decision as a publisher obviously but I feel like I've rambled on about this um but it was just like something which I just thought needed to be said like it's a great book but it is an acquired taste so um, I don't know it's up to you like get it for six pound definitely but I wouldn't have paid full price for it definitely not and I just hope that if she brings out another book they will kind of take that feedback into consideration because it's definitely not just me who said this absolutely not um I've probably painted this in a very positive way compared to what I have seen so um I just hope that they kind of take that on board and like don't rush it so much next time and just really make sure the right things are in there and new things where people could take more away from it because you just don't want the same recycled stuff in just different places like you know it just it pisses people off I think more than it does add value because you're investing in all these things that people bring out but then it's the same stuff and you're like well what's the point so yeah I just hope that they take that on board as that next time like it you know it's even better because I'm sure it will be okay so finally moving on to what I am planning to read during May slash June oh my god um so the first one is something I mentioned in my previous video is Brene Brown's Daring Greatly so I came across Brene's work over on Netflix she's got a new talk slash documentary out all about vulnerability and being open and it's called A Call to Courage and it's so so good go watch my previous video and also watch that on Netflix because you will not be disappointed and it's just such a good like I took so many things away from it it's really helped me in my own life already so I was like you know for the sake of £10 I need to buy her book but I'm pretty sure it was cheaper on Amazon I think it was about £6 so it's got a very shiny cover this is Daring Greatly and it is a best-selling book like like it has sold so many million copies there so it is how how the courage to be vulnerable transforms the way we live love parent and lead so I really fell in love with Brene's work um and like being in the arena of life daring greatly um and the power of vulnerability because there is a lot of power that does come with being vulnerable so check out the documentary check out my previous video but I'm super excited to read this because I just loved her work so much I'm really excited to kind of read her books and see what kind of takeaways and more I can take from it. Then the second book which I'm planning to read, I don't normally plan to read two books in a month but um, I feel that I can do two I hope. Um, so the next one I picked up the other day actually and it is Love for Imperfect Things, How to Accept Yourself in a World Striving for Protection by Heyman Summon, I hope that's how you pronounce her name. Um, so I actually got their first book which was The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down and I loved it absolutely loved it and so many of you guys loved it as well so as soon as I saw that there was a new book out I was like oh my god I have to buy this so um yeah like these are such popular books and there's such beautiful illustrations in this one as well there was last time um and this time like it's I really love it I've actually started reading the first 20 pages already because I couldn't wait um but yeah there's beautiful designs throughout um and I just think it would be really good to read because I think it is such a refreshing kind of outlook. So this isn't, I wouldn't say it's like a law of attraction book. It's more of a mindfulness and Buddhism book. They follow a lot of the Buddhist ways. Um, but I think it is true. I think we can all take great kind of lessons from living a perfectly imperfect life and not having to be perfect and, you know, just finding that acceptance as such. So I'm really excited to read this um, just because I had so many great takeaways from the last book and these books are so popular so they're obviously great for a reason um 
but yeah super excited to read this and I love the illustrations as well so I think this would be quite a nice easy read just because there's like quite a lot of quotes and broken up kind of chapters instead of you know whole pages of text so hopefully it'll be a nice you know profound read as well so there you have it there are my books which i'm going to be reading over ming and june and what i thought of mrs hinch's book as well i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and as always let me know in the comments down below what books you're reading and your thoughts because i reply to them all thank you so much guys for watching my video i appreciate all your views and likes don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because i would love love to see you again soon and don't forget my own book spiritual queen is out now worldwide and the link will be down below for that also so i hope you have a great week whatever you're up to and i will see you in my next video which will be next week lots of love guys